We saw a trend of hype models being influenced by celebrities, right? Oh yeah, and this thing has a name, it's called manipulating the market. Now you're starting to see these watch celebrities within themselves, guys like yourself. A lot of these guys have a couple hundred thousand followers that are not posting Rolex of manners, they're posting Jorn, they're posting... Yeah, because everyone is bored of Rolex, like everyone has a Rolex at this point. Thank you very much, you all guys bought the top. There is no way you can sustain this, so you gotta switch to something new, you gotta come up with something else. In after posting her work, yeah. stuff like that, people look towards them as the next hot thing. Case in point, I had a guy who traded in six of his Royal Oaks a few- Jesus f Christ, six of his Royal Oaks, why does he need six Royal Oaks? What for? What kind of collection is this? Daytonas in and also Daytonas. What are you trying to achieve with this watch collection of yours? Like, why? Of course, he traded them in because he got something fun for himself. Or finally, an MBNF and a long game. And most people would think, you know, what are you doing? It's you know? Marco is a great kid, but if it's not, sorry, it's logical. The market is overheated. There are a whole bunch of watches out there. He said that I saw these people doing this. I yeah. looked to them for, for information because most of the time, let's face it, these watch influencers are the ones with the knowledge. There's two explanations here. Like, check this out. There are 77 results for her work on Chrome 24 right now. 77, remember the number. Royal Oak. And I know it's been produced for a while and all of that, and that uh, it's not a fact. Shut up, beyond pinpoint. 7,000 listings, an enormous spread. Which brings me to my point. You got an audience, some of the watch influencers, Roman himself, you got a couple hundred thousand people, they have the money, they bought the shit. Now they're sitting on the shit and they're depreciating because no one wants to buy it because the market is flooded with the shit. Everyone now is selling all of this stuff. And now he brings another thing which is more limited, which has less pieces, which people are more likely to make money on, which people are more likely to appear knowledgeable on. And this is the Orvergs and MBNFs and all of that. And they're harder to get and he has the access and all of that. And of course, people are trading in their shit. It's the chicken and the egg story. It's not because people look to them for information. It's because if you shill something onto your audience, they'll probably buy it and then everyone else piles up. But I'm glad we're switching like from the sky dwellers and GMTs and all of that. At least they look fun.